Well, Father, we just come before you today. We enter your throne room where we can obtain grace and mercy in our time of need. Father, you know what we need before we ask, but you said ask that our joy may be full. You said ask, seek, knock. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. Everyone who knocks, it shall be open to him. Father, we just thank you for your word. We know that your word never returns to you void, but always accomplishes what it was sent to do. Father, you said, when we pray according to your will, you hear us. And we know that if you hear us, the things that we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we request of you. Father, we just, right now I want to lift up those people that have spouses that they love and they care for. Maybe they're estranged. Uh, maybe they've drifted away from the Lord. Maybe they're not saved at all. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I just plead the blood of Jesus over their hearts, Father, right now, that the thoughts and intents of their hearts would be good and no longer evil. Father, producing in them all manner of good thoughts in their mind. Father, I declare and decree that they have the mind of Christ so that their thoughts would be like your thoughts in Jeremiah 29, 29, thoughts of good and not evil for a future and a hope. Father, I thank you that the good thoughts of their heart and the good thoughts in their mind produce within them all manner of good speech. Father, we bind the works and powers and plans and, and, and lies and deceits of the enemy. I stand against the forces of darkness that would attempt to assert dominion and authority over the thoughts and intents of their hearts and the mind to try and produce in them all kinds of negative words. Father, I pray that you would establish them as one flesh, one mind, one body, one accord, uh, as you establish them in you, in Christ Jesus. Father, never to go astray forevermore. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare and decree that the words that come out of their mouth are only such that uh, would be for the building up and the edification of each other and their situation and the things in their life. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over their eyes and their ears to, to act as a filter, Father, to filter out all the garbage, all the trash of the world. Father, you said that you did not want us uh, spending time with, with, with trash and with filth and with people that are, that are immoral and sexually wrong. But Father, not the people of the world. You said we'd, we'd have to leave the world to do that. No, we're called to the world. We understand that. So Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm asking by the blood of Jesus that you would guard our hearts and guard our minds and, and, and act as, like I said, a filter to filter out the garbage that the world is bringing at us that would try and desensitize us and lure us away into into lowering our standards. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I thank you that you would hold that filter up. Father, I remember one day I went to get my uh, oil changed and the guy walked in and he held up my oil filter and it was or my air filter and he said, would you like to change your air filter? It's disgusting. And it was. It had filth and dirt all over it. Father, I'm asking you in the name of the Lord Jesus, as the blood of Jesus filters out all that garbage, I ask you, Father, that you reveal it to us, that we could see what the attempts and the plans and the plots of the enemy was trying to use against us, that we would learn from these things, that, that, that we would have a ready defense for them uh, for the future, Father. Father, I declare and decree in the name of the Lord Jesus, and I plead the blood of Jesus from the top of their heads to the tips of our, their toes, Father, that their hearts would be pure that their their affections and their attentions would be for their spouse only and that nobody else would they give their attention to nobody else would they give their affection to in the name of the Lord Jesus I call them sanctified and set apart father I just bless your name I praise you father father I speak to 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 children of parents who have either gone astray or are unsaved. Father, I'm asking you to remove anybody from their life that would cause them to be led astray. People that are not good for them. People that would harm them. People that do not have their best interest at heart. People that seem like they're friends but are sowing and deceiving them into unbelief. Father, I thank you you would replace them with godly people, with, with friends uh, that would encourage them and 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 be be helpful to them people that they would could risk people people that love the Lord but people they respect and admire 
that it would encourage them to turn, that it would sow seeds of faith into them. And you would send other people to water those seeds and other people to harvest them. Father, we call them in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Satan, you will not have those children. You will not have our spouses. In the name of the Lord Jesus, those are ours. I bind you in the name of Yeshua. You cannot have them. We stand in authority over what's ours. Father, you said you give us authority over all the power of the enemy. And whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Therefore, I bind every power, principality, ruler of darkness, spiritual hosts of wickedness, heavenly places, all, all unclean spirits and all familiar spirits bound in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, you said that the angels of Adonai encamp around us and deliver us from evil. Father, I thank you and I deliver these bound demonic presences into your hands, into the hands of your angels that we would be delivered from all evil. Father, take them and throw them in the pit of hell. I don't care. But Father, I pray they would never be allowed to return again. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I just bless your name. I praise you. I give you glory and I give you honor. I thank you, Father, that you open doors for us that no one could close and close the doors that no one could open. Father, I thank you for wisdom, supernatural wisdom in these last days. Father, and, and spiritual intuition to recognize and see and understand people uh, uh, that are trying to worm their way into our life to deceive us and to lure us away. Father, heighten our senses to the spirit realm. Father, give us eyes to see, spiritual eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear, Father. Father, you said that my sheep hear my voice and the voice of a stranger they do not recognize. I thank you, Father God, that you give us the ability to hear your voice. Father, I thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I speak to the voice that's unrecognizable. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, I thank you that that voice would be would be babbled like in the Tower of Babel, that we wouldn't even recognize it, we wouldn't understand it. Father, make it sound like Russian. Unless you're Russian, make it sound like um, Portuguese. And unless you're Portuguese, make it sound like something else. I don't care. I just thank you, Father, that we wouldn't even recognize that voice that might try and lure us away and deceive us and desensitize us. Father, I just thank you. I speak to all sickness and illness and disease. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we take power and authority over every disease known to man. I command them to go. Uh, I'm not even going to name them all, Father, because I can't name them all. But your word says that you deliver us from the perilous pestilence. Father, I thank you for deliverance. I claim deliverance today for my brothers and sisters. In the name of the Lord Jesus, all sickness and disease, I command you to go in Jesus' name. Father, I speak to migraines. I command you right now, all pain, go in Jesus' name. Father, I speak to the root cause of those migraines. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command the root to die. I command the muscles to be, to be relaxed. I command peace to come onto those people. Father, I speak right now to pancreases, pancreases that are no longer producing insulin. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to come alive. Whatever happened to you, whatever caused you to stop producing insulin, I curse in the name of the Lord Jesus. I curse the curse in the name of Jesus. I command that pancreas to come alive, to be uh to regenerate, to be restored like new. Father God, your word says that you renew us like the youth of an eagle's. I declare and decree a new pancreas inside of people. I declare and decree uh, uh, insulin to be produced as it was when it was when it was created by the Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I come against all all diabetes. I speak to diabetes and I say, diabetes, you have no place, no power over the brethren. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to go now in Jesus' name. All diabetes, I command you to die at the root and be removed from my brothers and sisters. I speak to the symptoms of diabetes. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that all, all numbness and all uh, tingling nerves, Father, dead tissue, I command to reanimate. Toes come alive, feet come alive. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, uh, swelling, I command you to go down. Uh, stiffness and soreness, I command you to cease and desist. All pain go now in Jesus' name. I declare and decree supernatural healing over the brethren in Jesus' name.
Father God, I speak to injuries, back injuries, spine injuries, disc injuries. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, people with scoliosis and curvature of the spine, right now I declare and decree that the spine must align. You don't have a choice. You have to line up with the Word of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to submit to the authority of the Lord Jesus. I call those spines to align, to straighten scoliosis. I command you to go. Discs. I command bulging discs to return to their normal place. I command all the ligaments and the tendons and the muscle fibers around the spine to, to be strengthened where they're weak and to relax where they're tight and, and knotted up and tensed. I call norm normalcy back into those backs. I call all pain to go in the name of Jesus. I speak to you pain right now. Back pain. In the name of Jesus, I command you to go. You have no place, no power over the brethren. Right now, I command you to go in Jesus' name. Father God, I just thank you that where there's areas of, of uh, where there's been a lack of blood flow, that you would open up those arteries and open up the capillaries and open up the veins, Father, and, and that that blood would begin to flow into those areas, that those organs and... Um, the hands and the feet and the toes and the fingers and the knees and the areas of the body that were beginning to to starve from loss of blood and oxygen, I declare and decree in the name of the Lord Jesus, you are renewed like the youth of an eagle. I speak to that blood and I say, blood, I command you to flow like normal. Hearts, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, your word said you would take out of us these hearts of stone and replace them with new hearts of flesh. Oh, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak to people with bad hearts. Father, with, with problems with valves, Father, valve problems. I command the valves to be healed in the name of Jesus. I command new valves to form. I command the arteries to be opened. I command the heart muscles to be restored and renewed like the youth of an eagle. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus for a strong new hearts in Jesus name and along with those new hearts father you said you would put your spirit in us father I thank you that the spirit of God is upon us the spirit of love unconditional love unselfish love joy faith hope grace mercy come in the name of Jesus forgiveness kindness charity faithfulness discipline integrity honor loyalty humility, Father. Oh, I thank you for humble hearts. I thank you for humble hearts, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father God, I speak to anybody with knee injuries right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak to the ACLs, the MCLs. I speak to cartilage right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to be renewed and to be restored in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree today that all, all the uh, if there be any micro fractures, if anybody has micro fracture or chipped bones, Father, I declare that those bones would be knit and renewed like the youth of an eagle's. Father, I thank you like young knees, like like like. 18 year old knees father that their strength would come I command the blood to flow meniscus that have been broken off I command you to regrow father where there's where there's people that have lost all their cartilage and it's just bone on bone from old football injuries father God in the name of Jesus I speak to those knees and I say knees you line up with the Word of God I command you to be restored to be renewed I command the ligaments to grow back where the ligaments were attached to bone uh, by poor uh, um, surgeries, maybe they were stapled or screwed. In the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that those ligaments would reattach to those bones normally and all screws and all metal in those knees that have been causing discomfort and pain, I command you to be dissolved. You are no longer needed. I call those knees reconstructed in the name of the Lord Jesus and I thank you, Father, for doing it today. Father, I speak to eyes, people who's, who have lost their eyesight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, give me faith. Give me faith to pray for this, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, I thank you.
that you have given me a measure of faith. And I thank you, Father, that the measure of faith you've given me is perfect because everything you do is perfect. So if the measure of faith within me is perfect, then in the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak to those eyes and I say, eyes, I command you to be restored and renewed. I command the pupils to be reborn, to be reconstructed. I command the retinas to be reattached. I command those eyes to see in the name of Jesus. And while I'm at it, let's talk about those ears. People that have hearing problems, people that have lost their hearing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare and decree today, nerve endings be restored, eardrums be restored. Hearing, I command you, come now in Jesus' name. Father, I stand against all forces of darkness that would try and prevent healing from springing forth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm asking you, Father, to send forth legions of angels to bring those uh, uh, victories, to bring the, the healing, to bring the manifestation thereof. Father, I thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in every tongue that rise against us. You said that we have the authority to condemn. Therefore, I condemn every lying tongue that would try and sow a doubt and unbelief into anybody that hears this word and wants to receive it as their own. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I come against you, Satan. You cannot stop these miracles from coming. You can't stop them in the name of the Lord Jesus because they're beyond you. They're stronger than you. They come from the power of God. I thank you, Father God, that the same spirit that resides in Jesus, you've given to us. The spirit that raised him from the dead, you gave to us. And you gave him the spirit, Father, without measure. So I declare and decree in the name of the Lord Jesus, all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Healing spring forth in Jesus' name. Father, I speak to those people out there that, that know in their heart that, that, that you speak to them prophetically. Father, give them the courage to speak out. Father, let the word just come out of their mouth, Father. Put them in positions to prophesy over people. I thank you, Father God, that we reside under your shadow, the shadow of the Almighty. I thank you, Father God, that you surround us with your favor like a shield, a shield of favor placing a hedge of protection round about us. Father, I declare and decree in the name of the Lord Jesus, we are blessed, not cursed, the head, not the tail, above only, and never beneath. Father, I, I speak to somebody with, with, with a hand problem. They've, they've got, their left hand isn't functioning. They've got, they had a stroke, Father. They had a stroke. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command life into that arm. Life into that arm. Father, that they're starting to move that arm and it's starting to get stronger. I command the blood to flow. I command the muscles to be renewed, the sinews to be, to be restored. Father, I, I command the nerve endings to come alive. I command feeling to come into every one of those fingers and their thumb, Father. I command life into that hand. I speak life. I say, hand, come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak to all forms of mental illness, depression, schizophrenia, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak to their minds. Schizophrenia, you have no place, no power over them any longer. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to release those people in Jesus' name. Depression, I command you to go. Anxiety, I command you to go. Fear, I command you to go. I declare and decree power, love, and a sound mind. The mind of Christ upon these people. She, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you said in the sower, these are the ones sown among rocks. Father, I speak to those people that have been hurt over and over and over. I speak to those women that have been deceived and lied and cheated on by their spouses. And the men too, Father, it happens both ways. Father, and they've, they've, they've got rocks in their heart and they've got hardness and they're bitter and they're angry and rightfully so, Father. They've been spite, spitefully used and abused and treated horribly. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, right now, right now, I'm asking you, Father God, right now, till their hearts, 
Get those rocks out of their heart, Father, that your word could go in and it would take root, Father. All depression, all anger, all resentment, all bitterness, all unbelief, faithlessness, I command you to go. You will hold them in bondage no more. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare and decree that heart is free, free from all bondage, free from all lies and deceptions, free for whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Father God, I speak to those that are suffering from, from being overweight. Oh, Father, it's such a lonely disease, Father. Their hearts are broken. It's, it's something that they don't even want to talk about out of shame. Father, I bind the spirit of shame and guilt and fear. In the name of Jesus, you will keep them in bondage no more. Father God, I thank you you would remove whatever, whatever hindrance Whatever bondage, whatever deception Satan has been heaping on them and in, 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 that came along with guilt. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare that they are free from this weight, this, this heaviness. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, those of them that are, that are dealing with physical things like hyperthyroids and, you know, I, I, I don't know all of it, but Father God, I know that you do. So I'm asking you right now to heal them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Restore them, Father. And Father God, those that, that, that just overeat, Father, because their hearts are broken, they're crushed, they're, they're sad, Father. They're lonely and they're heartbroken. Father God, heal the broken hearts. Father God, just come in and restore their confidence in you, Father, and their confidence in their abilities in you, Father, that they would discipline themselves and, and be able to say no and, and would start exercising and, 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 Father, just doing things that they haven't done for years out of depression, to spirit of depression, <laughs> today is the last day you have power and authority over these people. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to go now in Jesus' name. To go now and never return. And Father God, in their place, I thank you, Father, that your, your, your Holy Spirit would fill every void, would fill every need, Father, and that the manifestation by the fruit of your Spirit would become evident in any, in any and every area. That once when they were under darkness and despair, now they are walking like lights, Father that the light would shine on them and, and that people around them would begin to notice and say, what is it about you? What are you doing different? What did you do? Did you, would you, 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 lost, you lost weight? You get a new haircut? What is it? And, and Father, I thank you that the Holy Spirit would speak to them. Father, I thank you. We're, I know we're in the last days. I know we're in the last days. I know we're in the last days. Father, I can feel it. Every day I can feel how heavy the heart of Jesus is. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Father, I pray that you would restore friendships that have been broken. Relationships that have been severed, Father. Uh, uh, siblings and, and fathers and sons and, and uh, parents and children, Father. And, and, and best friends and husbands and wives, Father. Father, God, you hate divorce. You absolutely hate divorce. In the name of Jesus, I bind every demonical spirit in the name of Jesus, every dividing spirit, every spirit of divorce. In the name of Jesus, I command you to unhand these people. Be thou removed and cast into hell. Father, I thank you that you would just loose, loose upon them a spirit of peace and joy and reconciliation, Father God. Oh, Father, that you touch their hearts. Minister to their hearts. This is a heart thing, Father. Deal with our hearts, Father. Deal with our hearts. Father, those that have grown distant. These are the, among, these are the ones sown among weeds, where the cares of the world, the deceitfulness of riches, and the desire for other things enter in and choke the word, and the word became unfruitful. Father, touch them. You said the heart of the king is in your hand and you turn it any way you wish. Father, how much more the heart 
of a child. Oh, Father, you said that in your word, you said we were led away strap, uh, captive, but for our own good. And Father, you have kept your eye on us for good. You said you would build us up and not tear us down. You would plan us and not pluck us up. That you would be our Lord. Father, and we would be your bride. You would be our Father and we would be your children. And you would give us a heart to know you again. Father, I thank you for all those that have gone astray. For all those that have gone. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, bring them back. Give them a heart to know you again. That they will love you with their whole heart all the days their life. Father, I just thank you for wisdom, for revelation, for knowledge. I thank you for all the abilities you've given me. I thank you for the wonderful wife you gave me and the, and the three beautiful children. I thank you for my mother and my father. You know, my father didn't know you. He didn't know you until the very end, but he did the best he could. He did the best he could, Father. I thank you for my brother. My brothers, I got two wonderful brothers, awesome brothers. I thank you, Father, for my business. I thank you that you've blessed my business. Father God, I pray over the businesses and the jobs of, of the people in the sound and the hearing of my voice. Father, bless them. Father, give them promotions, give them raises, Father God, and let them know it's from you. Father, don't give them anything that would lead them away from you. But Father God, I pray that their, their eyes and their ears, their spiritual eyes and their ears would be open, that a, that a newfound maturity in the Word would come upon them, that they could manage and handle without deception the blessings and the riches that you have in store for them. Father, I thank you that you bless them richly in their relationships and in their jobs and in, 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 in their... In their in everything they put their hands to. Father, your Word says, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Everything we put our hands to shall prosper. I declare and decree prosperity among everything we touch come in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for supernatural favor. Father, you said, Jesus said, everything the Father has, he has given to me. He said, everything I have, I freely give to you. Father, your word says that Jesus grew and stature and favor amongst you and man daily. Everything Jesus has, I declare and decree, favor and stature, increase thereof. Come, come, Father, come in the name of Jesus. Father, I just thank you. I praise you. Oh, Father, I just love you. I give you glory and honor. I thank you, Father God, for my friends and my family. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you touched my heart. I thank you for the people that you brought into my life to plant seeds. I thank you for the people that you brought into my life that watered those seeds. And I thank you, Father, for the people.